Hi everyone, this is Filippo Bartolotta tasting some wines with you today. But today is gonna to be a special day because we're also gonna be having a matching food and wine session. But let's start with the wine, Passione Sentimento. This white wine from the Pasqua Winery based on Garagana variety. I'm so curious to see this wine. What is it gonna, what is it gonna smell like? Well, this is all about ripe peach, beautiful apricots, some passion fruit, and lime juice. On the palate though, there is good acidity, the lime juice acidity, but also lots of ripeness and sweetness of the fruit. This wine went through a little bit of a drying process so that garganega is gonna be concentrated with the sugar, releasing way more voluptuousness and volume on the palate. But now that I think of it, what are you gonna match with this wine? I'm in the mood for, hmm, raw fish. Well, how about this? Some beautiful shrimp with green apples and lime. You don't do raw? And if I say pasta, what do you feel about pasta? Pasta with tomato sauce, basil, and grana padano cheese. What? Oh, you don't do carbs anymore because of your diet? I know what you're talking about, but I'm ready to come up with some charcuterie. Beautiful ham. So what you're gonna need with the ham is the acidity of the wine to cut through the fatness of all this beautiful food. And uh, at this point, I have only one question. Why Passione Sentimento? Where is the name coming from? Let's ask the winemaker. What is the most famous thing from Verona? Romeo and Juliet. Our beautiful city inspired Shakespeare many years ago to write one of his most celebrated novels. And this label is uh, celebrating it with a picture taken by a fashion photographer. It's a picture of the wall inside Juliet's house that uh, collects, uh, believe it or not, 3,000 love notes every single day of the year. So we dedicated to this wine, which is 100% Garganega, uh, this is a very unique label, which is cool, urban, graffiti, international, uh, to this very unique wine, which is made uh, leveraging on our expertise in making Amarone. In fact, the 100% of Garganega is lightly dried indoor, exactly like we do with Amarone, but for a very shorter period of time. We're talking about just a couple of weeks on the, on the plateau. And, uh, and uh, therefore the wine, which is uh, based on the most uh, important white indigenous grape of the area, comes out uh, very bold, large, rich, sumptuous, but still with a nice freshness and verticality. 